Today we are cooking from the stock pile again, but this time we're doing dessert edition. You guys wanted to know how to make those Italian butter cookies? We're gonna do it today. Let's get started. Welcome back to Heartway Farms. We are so glad you're here with us today and we are always cooking. It's like, it's like every day, right? So you guys are just coming along for the journey as we bake and cook and try different things. And um, we've been doing this series, cooking from your stockpile with what you have at home. And sometimes it's fun to have dessert and to have treats. We already showed you brownies. If you missed that video, go check that out. We'll link that here. But today we are making Italian butter cookies. If you need a cookie, that goes well with coffee or tea, this is the cookie for you. All right, so Julianne is gonna share the recipe and I'm here to be moral support and assistant and whatever she <laughs> needs me to do. All right, tell us what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is put our softened butter in the mixer and this is one cup or two sticks of softened, softened butter. Do you need this? Thank you. 16 tablespoons. Yes. We'll give you all the measurements <laughs> that you need. And then to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of cane sugar. This is just regular organic cane sugar. And I have three quarters cup of powdered sugar. I'm just going to carefully put that in so it doesn't explode, explode in your face. Nobody likes that. And then we're just going to let this whip a little bit as soon as this powdered sugar mixes in. It already looks yummy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down my sides. Got butter on me. <laughs> it's my job when we're not, you know, showing you all what we what we're doing. It's not, she's allowed to do that because this is for us, not for you. But it's my job to follow Julianne around the kitchen and clean up after her. That's my, usually she makes all the stuff on her own and I just clean up, so. I also she, make the food and the messes. So. That's all right, I'm happy to clean up. I'm delighted if you were willing to make the food. All right, your turn. I have two egg yolks and this is just the yolks. Don't be afraid if there's a little bit of egg whites in there, it's not too detrimental. And then I have a quarter teaspoon of salt and three quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So these are all ingredients that we keep stocked all the time. So you guys know if you've been following us at all that butter I keep frozen. I stock up on it and I freeze it. Uh, we also make homemade if we have uh, you know raw cream here. Uh, so all of every single ingredient I had in my house and you can whip it up for a quick, easy, inexpensive dessert that tastes high quality. And this is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We make our own vanilla too, and also have store-bought down in the root cellar, so we have both. And then two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to carefully put that in there. A little bit at a time. batter is done and now we're just going to shape them into our cookies and I've got around a tablespoon size little dollop then I'm just going to form it into a little ball then I'm going to squish it down just a little bit and we've done these different ways you can you know put a fork both ways if you want kind of like when you make peanut butter cookies you guys know like 
Uh, same as that, but this is just an, an easy, easy way to do it. Um, and uh, what do we do? We chill this, right, after? Yes, we're gonna toss these in the fridge for five to 10 minutes, just enough to get a little bit hardened so that they don't completely go splat in the oven. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the oven. We have our oven preheating at 350 degrees. And these just melt in your mouth. You guys, and this is a perfect cookie for your kids or your grandkids to help you with because really, it doesn't, they don't have to be perfect. It's really hard to mess these up. They could even decorate them if they wanted to and yeah. it would be delicious too. But these are like, go get your cup of coffee, get your tea and you have an awesome dessert with very basic pantry ingredients, which is great. That or what I have also seen people do is they um, melt chocolate, like milk chocolate, and they, after they're cooked, they dunk one half in the milk chocolate and then put little like non pearl sprinkles on there. And it's so, so pretty. You can make them pretty. Like, if you're taking them somewhere. You've piped, these, you've piped these before too, but we didn't want to show you that today because of just if you don't have those tools. So what you can do is have a good solid piping bag with a pretty tip mm -hmm. and kind of make pretty, uh, uh, circles, you know, little rosettes, rosettes and th they're, then you can make them super fancy if you want. Today we're doing cooking from your stockpile Maybe. version. Am I little, getting too big? A little bit more space and not as squished down because they will spread. Yes, ma'am. Okay, our cookies are on the pan. What do we do next? We are going to put them into the fridge for five to 10 minutes. And then after that, I will put them into the oven at 350 degrees, anywhere from eight to 12 minutes, just until they're a light golden brown. Barely brown. Barely brown, because if they get too brown, they get crunchy. Too crunchy. If you like crunchy cookies, then leave them in, let them get nice and toasty brown, but we like them just melt in your mouth, fall apart. So yeah, let's get them in the oven. Okay, our cookies are done and they look awesome. I can't wait to have one with some coffee. Um, recap what we did and how easy it is. So we made our batter, shaped out the cookies, chilled them for five minutes in the fridge, and then popped them in the oven for, uh, I did, it was probably 12 to 15 minutes. At that 350 degrees, yes. right? And you guys can see they're beautiful and light colored on top, a little bit of brown on the bottom, but it's perfect because they just fall apart, break apart, and just like melt in your mouth. Especially if you have a cup of coffee, it just melts right in your mouth. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy video. Just a super quick dessert with items you have in your house, in your stockpile, in your pantry, in your freezer. You can throw these together and everybody will love them. So go ahead and make them, tell me how you guys like them, and we'll talk to y'all soon.